Welcome back to the channel and we just got to say baby I know this had to be season four because I think Sheree and Portia came in season five but child <laughs> and if y'all don't know who uh straight from the A Michelle Brown go over to her channel she's hilarious uh you know she definitely favors Nene a lot because I think they are friends outside of work and she does a lot of commentary about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Again, that's AT Alien uh, YouTube show. So y'all go over there until I said hey. But honey, I do remember, and I I gotta thank my YouTube family member, Miss Lady Die. Okay. <laughs> oh Lord, I forgot about this whole video, this whole reunion that they were partaken of when Phaedra was on the scene yes honey when Phaedra was on the scene and um <laughs> they these jokers was cutting up okay and you have to remember that Phaedra actually did introduce formally Todd and Candy that's what a lot of people are forgetting to understand that they forgetting to pretty much see uh that storyline there candy just didn't meet that boy on her own and he didn't he didn't have enough guts or uh self-esteem to go and just you know throw his game at her you know i think she was single at the time she probably would have took it because todd ain't no bad fella he no he bad looking at all but maybe his um uh, <laughs> his delivery of trying to get a woman interested was weak who knows but anyway Phaedra was the catalyst that brought them together and these are season um four ladies of the Real Housewives of Atlanta okay and at the time Phaedra Kim Zosiak and Nene Leakes were his favorite Candy was you know I don't know he wasn't really into her at the time because she was younger uh and who knows he, he, plus he was like a nini at the time as well so that could be the reason why um uh, things happened the way they did but see like andy throughout the years he was falling out with everybody because i think him and candy well i do know him and candy had a discussion i don't know if it was a real discussion or not but they did have a discussion on uh andy bringing up her ex-boyfriend Riley's dad blog and like I said you did your due diligence you don't ever have to worry about even though I know you are a mother and you still gonna worry worry but Riley knows how to get people in check grown folks pe people her age it doesn't matter she is a one woman talent and a one woman show and I don't think you have anything to fear Riley is not gonna get taken advantage of and Riley's going to set the tone on how a person should step to her. So, kudos to Riley. Um, and let's just uh, bring this video in that we got, like I said, from one of my YouTube family members. You it was funny. Yes, I did. I really wasn't bothered by that comment. I was more irritated because as we were arguing, she kept saying, yeah, you said something about a big papa, da, 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 da. And I know I was saying things about, you know, how she got her money or whatever, but I didn't never say the words big papa. I felt like she was doing that to egg up the drama between me and Kim. So that's why I was getting irritated. I wasn't as much irritated about this sugar because I'm like, so tell me really, I'm too cheap to do that, for real. So the guy you're dating now, does he work, that used to work for production here? Yes, he, oh, he does work. Okay. Does he well, let me, let you me tell let me tell you this. Yes, so, uh, let me tell you this. Who are you getting upset now? You no, just, just, you're, 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 Oh, you got upset. He, he has a Range Rover. He has a Range Rover. Okay, well, calm down, and, baby. And if, he wants, if we switch up and he wants Is to drive my car, is she okay with living with you? Yeah, 
no, and moving no, into no, your no, new no. lifestyle? Let's not, let's not go there because just a couple I'm years ago, you question, were a bartender, baby. okay? I'm bartender. Let me hear you. I work at you bartender. I should make you great money. You was paying for people to go on trips, yo damn self, oh, no, with never. somebody else's money. No, no I was Let's not. not even go there. You don't even have your store, honey. You not me. You, you, you sit up here and just spend no money frivolously. I wasn't even going to be mean to you or try to say nothing crazy to you, but now you want to come at me? You don't give a damn you me in the back of me. And this was Marlo and Candy. And Candy want to wait. He has a Range Rover. He has his own place. Now Candy wants to Candy. wait until the reunion to pop off. But I'm like, pop off now, Candy. And we will be thirsting for much more from you when the reunion comes. But like I said, this is not her and Marlo's first time getting uh, into it with one another. And Cash, you can see Candy definitely called Marlo a hoe. So for Marlo to call her ho a hoe. You know, in this phase of our existence of looking at the Real Housewives of Atlanta, I say touche. Okay, but let's go back. Marlo steps on the scene. You become kind of a peacemaker. Well, you know what? I feel like I, I have become Marlo's big sister. Okay. So I feel like I have to, you know, jump in and, and calm Marlo down because she can be a baby sure. nini. A baby nini. <laughs> Do you have anything oh, to God, say about I the insinuation feel. that... That she's trying to make about Candy and this man that Candy's seeing. When Marlo said sugar mama, it was something that was on the street. I mean, it was gossip. People were saying that she, that's you know, her. took care of dudes. I mean, that's what was being said. Well, let me tell you, as a matter of fact, anybody can say this. anything out the back of their ass. Has there not been conversations where you say, Marlo, how do you get money from guys? No, I didn't say anything was wrong with it. I she has no credibility. Millions don't even dating men you that was just fine and they regular money. Right. Whoever I love, that's who I'll date. Mind you, I don't give a damn. If I wanted to take care of every mother in here, put me on I that could. Jump. You like women, I right? Could. I heard you, you like women what? too, right? Take care of me. Put me on there. You know, girl, you know what I'm asking. Are you looking for your next person to pay your shit? Marlo, are you? Candy, she's just jealous. You got your own money, honey. Don't worry about it. Are you threatened by the fact that Candy has her own money? Not at all. Yes, she sure is. I love her. I admire a black woman who's doing well. Why white woman anywhere? Marlo, I'm not going to get it. She's just jealous. You got your own money, honey. Don't worry about it. You're not going to get it. She sure is. I love her. I admire a black woman who's doing well. White woman, any woman. I've always been taught a man is to protect and provide. So I'm sorry. Some women have to protect and provide. Let me tell you something. Any. Anything I do, I don't give a damn. I'll admit well, let me to just... anything I do. You want to sit up here like you all prissy and proper, honey. You're in that store. You're going to tell okay? me your home is paid for. You're in that store. Whatever, ho. Whatever, ho. Okay, when I was watching the show, it seemed like when you were off on safari with the smalls you were kind of joining their discussion about marlo and her labels yeah and i you did were join saying, that discussion and you were saying yeah she goes over the top yeah, about her was labels that, and, was and that then, horrible like i'm not saying what you said was horrible basically we said the same thing but well, we what can I'm say the same is, thing about you because when you were with me and cynthia what you said you yeah, we said at yeah, the time when she get back with well, you she had something no, to no, say no 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 i never changed so my tone though when i talked to them about you being rich i said it to you too i said so i heard you said you was rich i never changed what i said to you to them what i'm saying to you is when you was with us you said one thing and it, and it wasn't even that much no, later. I, 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 I said, said, I said, I said totally I don't, different. I said, I don't want to sit and talk about clothes and labels all day. I got better things to do. Okay, hold on a second. I just, Marlo, you saw the episode I was talking about, and I think you know what I'm talking about. What was your... You saying when they were on the Jeep on the safari? Yes. For me seeing it, I'm going to be honest, when I did see it at first, Cynthia, which I do like Cynthia, we get along. We are not buddy-buddy talk every day. Cynthia is married with a daughter. I'm single. I like to party. I go on my escort dates. Like, you know, yeah, she's <laughs> you. So when I did hear it, I'm going to say, Cynthia, I was like, well, damn. It seemed like she's switching out with them. Because if I was in there, Nini was, I know she'd be like, ain't nothing wrong while talking about her labels. Most of the hate was coming from the other ladies. Oh. Am I saying it is hate? But she can say the same thing. And it's not me. Because she's tall and pretty. Oh, okay. <laughs> the bottom line is, the girls are just too worried about what Marlo do. What's this? The energy. We don't care. Who cares what I do? I don't care what you do. I wouldn't even care if Candy does take care of 50 men. I wouldn't care if um, Kim slept with 60 married men. Get to know me as a person, as a friend. I'm moving on. Shayna from Spring, Texas wants to know, Marlo, why did you feel the need to throw money all over the club in Africa? What the hell was that about? I'm from St. Petersburg, Florida, South Side, and we make it rain in the clubs. Sheree and I just had the argument, so, you know, I'm still on my ground, like, you know, 
get some money. Let me just throw it to you. You know, you struggling. I heard oh, you're you throwing it to back. me? <laughs> yeah, I was just, you know, just. Oh, you should put it in my hand. No, I just threw it on the ground. <laughs> the attorney and the um, producer Thank picked you. it up. Jesse yeah, Ray. It was stupid to throw it away. I gave it to all the kids. I know you did. Jesse um, Ray. To all the boys. Jesse Ray. Jesse Ray from New Orleans you said. Going where you going? I'm going to give you some later on. All right, please. Yeah, right. so, you will never have to. You'll be all right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. You'll never have to. All right. You just moved out your old okay. ass house. Okay. 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 Girl, please. My house. <laughs> you my house is paid for. I can do my, my heels in the house. I had to take my heels off. Let's get real. I'm talking about the old one. Let's get real. My heels are paid for. You're not gonna have I mean, much you work you. Cost you. I will always have a lot because I hate okay. like you that keep hating. Okay. Look at that. Is that how you have money from haters? <laughs> no. <laughs> I want to start hating you. Know, I can get some money. You know what? Like, is that how you have money from that? Where do you get your money from? <laughs> Candy, how did you feel about Marlo calling you a sugar mama? I thought it was funny. You thought it was funny? Yes, I did. I really wasn't bothered by that comment. I was more irritated because as we were arguing, she kept saying, yeah, you said something about her being popular, da, 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 da. And I know I was saying things about, you know, how she got her money or whatever, but I didn't never say the words big popular. I felt like she was doing that to egg up the drama between me and Kim. So that's why I was getting irritated. I wasn't as much irritated about the sugar because I'm like, so really, I'm too cheap to do that, for real. So the guy you're dating now, does he work, that used to work for production here? Yes, he, oh, he does works. work. Okay. Does he well, work with you and he drives your car? Let me tell you this. Oh, yeah, okay. Let me tell you Ooh, this. Oh, you're getting upset now. You no, changed. Because you're, 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 you're,
angry where well, you were raising your your uh, voice you were using your hands your fingers uh and all this kind of stuff i like her, her, her. now we're here in season 14 that was season four we 10 years done jumped up and you still doing the same shit you won't handle your business on tv while we're seeing it being recorded you just gotta wait and, and drum up something uh or may not drum up anything at the reunion on season 14. But it's a trip because Nene certainly has been replaced with the calm, cool headed one and try to get everybody checked out. That's Kenya Moore. Okay. Now, Marlo, definitely, she is a baby Nene. She would go off, she would do this, that, and the third, but she won't change her facial tone. She won't change her. Her uh, body language, she just put shit out there and want to stir the pot until it runs over, okay? So that's just her, her thing that she brings to the show. But I tell you, if you really didn't have anything but kumbaya moments and everybody uh, is, is okay with everybody, that would have been okay if that was the inception of the show from the first the very first scene of season one. But since we didn't get it like that, people are drawn more to give me some drama, give me some hair pulling, give me some this and give me some that. You know, give me some chaotic stuff. And then they they can um, you know, go from there. And uh right now Candy has always been a bone collector. She's always tried to help people, uh, and then get screwed in the end because they didn't really want her help. They just wanted her her talent and her money and then they didn't want to be friends anymore. It's almost like they were using Candy. But uh and in a sense, they feel probably using Candy because she just they have she has that kind of heart. Uh, you know, she, I guess it's her mother, her family, her mother's side of the family that taught her about giving, giving, giving. Even though her, even though her father is a pastor and he should have been a little bit more giving, but Candy don't talk about him much. So I think they still have a strained relationship because she's trying to understand her dad. Uh, looking at things that he didn't do for her in the past and the things that he's probably showing her now that he's really not really wanting to be there it's more uh, effort on her part to probably you know make time to be with him and stuff because mama joyce and aunt bertha and aunt nora they keep her very busy and all the little other stuff she got going on as far as investments she have to um you know take note of take stock of and make sure everything's coming up checks and balances and then she got ride over in college so candy do really have a lot on her plate uh and then she got the two young ones and it's not enough room or time in the day where you have to try to fix your relationship with your dad so we didn't really see that play out she never really brings him on the show um so we can see what they look like together, you know, what they feel about each other, all that. She don't want to do that. And I don't know if she just don't want to put no money in his pocket by him showing up and showing out on the show. Or if she just want to keep him at arm length because she still don't like a lot of what he's still doing today. So, you know, we don't know. We're just speculating over here. But, uh, yeah, I just had to say, you know, I'm like, candy girl. Woo-wee. Okay. You fought real hard on that reunion on, in season four. Um, and I see it's going to be some. I think tonight you're going to show us some meanness you can get, give out to the to the ladies. I think you're going to be uh, disagreeing with Kenya in some, some sort, fashion or whatever. And um, Kenya kind of like shuts you down from the little part that I saw. But, you know, I could be wrong. You may have won that argument with um, Kenya. We still have time for it to develop. And we still have time to see it because it hadn't aired yet. So, uh, yeah. So, and then, you know, you I, I don't know what you and the Margot are going to do. Seems like Marlo's going to win again because she just comes with that fire, you know. And you wants to get your voice crackling and stuff and no you ain't gonna do nothing because you don't want a salt charge on you or on your brand on your name you know you don't want that kind of salt added to the flavor you're trying to to uh, fix for us but um <laughs> it's just funny it's just funny how 10 years can prove so much that Todd is still anchored with you and he's, you know, definitely using the money that y'all made together to further his own endeavors. And we still don't like him to this day, Candy. I mean, we, 
uh, he's a good father, I'm guessing, because you never brought anything up about him. Um, he's there with Ace, he's there with uh, Baby Blaze and stuff. Uh, but, I mean, I don't know if y'all really have anything going on with y'all marriage or you just making it as a storyline. I can't really see it. Because it really seems like a uh, fake storyline that you got going on. Because, you know, women in gen general, we have body language to show others that we're not feeling them and their ways, okay? Now, as a black woman, you know, we do get down. We get down deep with our man that's not doing what we feel he need to be doing. And you don't seem to have that type of energy when you're talking to Todd since he's been on the show from season five on up where we are now so i don't know can yet to be seen but like i said on the surface you seem like a good individual you help people do what they need to do you try to help them out i get it got it good but you haven't been straightening these ladies out and we we need you to do that can put them back in check okay they cannot cross the finish line until they have done a b c and z and, and walk to z you see what i'm saying they can't come for you but, you know, you still letting them get all over you and get in underneath your skin and you have to prove something. You're like, girl, you too much on top to be trying to talk to some bottoms. You see what I'm saying, girl? Do you? you see what I'm saying? But anyway, that's just my banter to you. And I, I don't know, okay? Because I still never got that gift you gave everybody else when they did that, um, what do you call it, um, the show, the uh, old lady gang and stuff i still never got my prize but i'm feeling kind of salty about that too but it just is what it is maybe you didn't have anything to do with it maybe it was a don one thing and uh you know i was just isolated out because i'm not gay or something i don't know because he, he seems like he gave everybody you know that are lesbian or gay they pack it but you know it just is what it is no 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 uh, hard feelings but i'll keep talking about you i keep giving you you know your uh kudos when you do something and i uh, do the correction when I feel you need correcting but that's all I got for this video guys y'all like it love it gotta have more uh, definitely stay tuned get the notifications so you'll know when I drop uh, or subscribe to the locations and subscribe to the channel so you'll know when I drop the video for y'all to partake of okay but I'll see y'all later bye bye